Hey guys, what's up? Do you guys remember the FNAF diss track war? Yeah, neither do I. Okay, yes I do. A year ago, Ozone started talking in his live streams and community posts that he's heard rumors about people making diss tracks on him, and in a live stream he said he kinda wanted people to because he wanted to see what people could come up with, and he thought it would be funny. And I took this opportunity to ask him, what if I made a diss track on him? And you know what he said? Go for it. And I did. I made a diss track on him exactly one year ago from th when this video was coming out. After that, he came back with one on me. Then Psychic made one on Ozone, and I made a second one on Ozone. Then Psychic made one on me. But then, suddenly, it just stopped. I didn't make one on Psychic, Ozone didn't, Ozone didn't make another response to me, nothing. It stopped so abruptly, but I thought for today, it would be fun to go back to the FNAF diss track war, talk about the stupid disses, the great disses, and the fun it was to come up with mine. Ozone and Psychic are my friends and we did all this for fun, and it definitely was fun. So let's talk about these things. So the first diss track in the FNAF diss track war was my diss track on Ozone called Chemical Compound. I'm gonna go ahead and play the beginning of the song for you. If only I were older, I could learn about some chemistry and learn how to destroy ozone while sipping on some lemon tea. Too bad I'm too young for that, so I guess I'll do this myself and destroy your damn mind, you bad guitar playing elf. The funny thing about my first diss track is that Ozone said a lot of my points were flat out wrong, which, yeah. But I feel like he kind of missed that that was kind of the point. The point of a diss track is to insult the other person, and when it's between friends, you have to say some stuff you don't mean. And here, I said that Ozone was a bad guitar player, but that's absolute bullshit. He's actually really good. Another funny thing about this diss track opening is that back then, I didn't do chemistry in science class, and the funny thing is that I do now. So basically, I did get older, and I am learning about chemistry. But one thing I'm not learning is how to destroy ozone while sipping on lemon tea. But hey, it's stylish. First hopped on a video, what's with your fake ass accent? God, these ads, please stop abusing all your ad sense. At least try to comb your hair, you look just like Rick Astley. And I think I might throw up, your face looks super ghastly. The funny thing about this is that in his reaction to my first diss track, when he made it to that part of the diss track, ozone literally said, I can't monetize this video. <laughs> And the funny thing is that I actually got ads while watching that video. I know YouTube likes to put ads on non-monetized videos to make money for themselves though, so I don't know if it was or wasn't monetized, but either way, it was pretty funny. And it's funnier that I am taking a stab at Ozone being monetized, even though I am monetized. And I stand by Ozone looking like Rick Astley. But he's not ugly. Kinda. A few lines after this, I show an image of Ozone's livestream with 460 views and I said, views don't even make us all that. And what's funny about that is that a lot of my videos don't make that, <laughs> but that's mostly non-FNAF content. Look at that, what the frick is that even supposed to mean? I don't get what you want us to look at, what is on the screen? Tell us, just explain yourself, I don't want to waste my time on this stuff, costing me time and effort or else you will meet my fist. This line was mostly a little jab at Ozone having the video he's reacting to as the small screen on the side. I always feel like it's better for reaction videos to have the face cam small and overlaid on the side of the screen while the video that you're reacting to takes up most of the screen. The only time I feel like you shouldn't do that is if a, if it's a reaction to like a TV show or movie is that makes it easier to get copyrighted. So at the end of the song you get a little clip of me recording myself in my room with the voiceover of the song. This part of the diss track wasn't really directed at Ozone, in actuality this was teasing my true identity as Hotshot on the Mind Zone SMP, later Inkwell, and now the Inkwell SMP Daybreak. I even mentioned that part of the diss track in my video where I reveal my identity of Hotshot. Why, you may ask? Well, uh, it's because... It's because sometimes we're not as we seem. Sometimes our friends can betray us. And that's why I'm being mean. Haha. <laughs> if you've watched my Ozone, my first Ozone diss track, you may have recognized that line. Well, that was, that was a hint. I was trying to, t to give you a little hint there that it was me. But now, since you, since I, now I know you couldn't figure it out, 
I see how utterly brainless you all are. Okay, but seriously, now we need to talk about the absolute fire that is Devil in Disguise by Ozone. His diss track on me. Though a lot of his points are wrong too, as I said earlier, I feel like that's kind of the point. But the song isn't fire only because of the disses, it's just overall a great song. It's hilarious. And another reason for that is that this diss track resulted in an absolute icon of a video on Ozone's channel. Ozone dancing for like 9 minutes straight, which is just the full recording of him dancing for his diss track video. Okay, he just took a bite out of an apple, and it fell out of his mouth. Legend. I didn't want to do this, but you started it. Firing your shots at me, that's childish. I'm sipping on lemon tea, cause it's stylish. Do you have a degree in life? I'm a permanent marker, you're a broken fine liner. I'm determined and smarter, you're a misspoken minor. I'm 19, you're 13, so do you confess that your entire person's against Discord to your west? To be fair, I kind of asked him if I should do it, and he just told me I should. So it's not really me being childish, but to be fair, I am also a child. After all, like he said, I was 13 in that video, and I'm 14 now. Still a kid, even if I don't sound as young as I am. But since you asked, yes, absolutely. I do have a degree in lifelessness. I don't disagree that you're smarter, but I am also determined. And I am a minor. And that last line from that clip, though we've all talked about how it is simply incorrect, absolute bars for the song, though. A common theme in Devil in Disguise is that Ozone quite often repeats himself. In one part of the song, he says, Your is led from my bit, from yours mine exploded. All you do is waste time pretending FNAF has been decoded. Which is a pretty ironic diss since we both do pretty similar styled FNAF theories. But in another part of the song, he says, Your is led from my bit, from yours mine died. All you do is fail and pretend that you tried. So, he kind of repeats himself, and he also mentions his Britishness a couple times. And another thing he repeats is telling me not to pull my punches. And I find it kind of sad that he says that, because... I didn't pull my punches, so, uh... That's a bit awkward. Bleeding from my ears and bleeding from my eyes Well, only half of me. You only got subs because you're still from door F*** you. F*** you. Okay, but seriously, he is partially right. If you guys didn't know, I used to upload previews for Daco's songs whenever they were re revealed. But looking back, I honestly regret doing that. I prefer my subs to actually come from my own stuff, so I eventually privated all the previews, but I did keep up the song edits like Count the Ways, but it speeds up when Freddy mentions death, and those kinds of videos, but I did stop uploading them when I was around 6k subs, which is obviously the reason my channel growth slowed a lot, but it has sped up quite a bit since December. And now, we're actually past 8,000 subscribers, which is honestly awesome, thank guys. Thank guys. Thank you guys. But yeah, technically around 5k of my subscribers are here because of those videos. But like I said in my second diss track on Ozone, they may have come from Daco, but that's not why they stayed. What do you think? That I had them paid with what money? I'm just a kid, so I'll watch just what I made. Has his soul devoured till his body is decayed. You call me Red Cassidy, but it don't make me a clown because I never give up. And I, I never let down. down. It'll never be over because you called me an elf. But you're more like an ogre. Have you seen yourself? Your ears bled from my vid, from yours mine died. All you do is fail and pretend that you tried. Cry to your mother, cause this is not the end. At least just me properly, don't be scared to lose a friend. I find it funny that he still doesn't deny being Rick Astley, and even attempts to do the never gonna give you up dance moves as he's saying that. I also find it funny that he says it will never be over, and then proceeds to let the diss track war be over a few weeks later. Also, I like how he calls me an ogre, and then at the end of the song he looks like the ogre himself. But at the end of Devil in Disguise, Ozone puts text on the screen saying, At least you're better than Psychic lol. And that led Psychic to do something unbelievable. Psychic joined the FNAF diss track war with their diss track on Ozone titled Fossil Fuel. Psychic's diss tracks are good, but they don't focus as much on the dissing part of a diss track, 
And at times it's a bit hard to understand what they're saying as well. And that makes sense because I think they did the recording once all the way through, which I did for my first two as well. But psychics are a bit fast paced, so it's harder to understand. But hey, that doesn't mean their diss tracks are bad. They are still good, and they got them bars. Also, you're my friend, and I hope you get this, because after this track, I don't think you'll make it. Okay, you got me a baseless attack. Well, I'm gonna need to put this non spec on track. I got all the words I need. Lockdown pet, you thought you could diss me, and it'd be tacked. One thing I think Psyche does really well with their diss tracks is making them funny, and the editing in them is done very well also. Edited by the Robot 13. Burning you up like I'm fossil fuel, like fossil trying, fossil trying fossil to cut me fossil while trying to stay cool. You know it's depleting, it's your mess. You came at me, and now we're gonna clash. I'm burning you up like a fossil fuel, trying to come at me while trying to stay cool. I'm basically a greenhouse gas no stick back like your British ass there BAM I love this course it's absolutely hilarious sorry I'm not really going as in depth with this one it's a bit hard to go in depth with a disc that isn't made by me and isn't made against me but again it is still good but then the very same day as fossil fuel ozone a miss released my second diss track on ozone I feel like this one was a bit funnier but it also made a bit less sense. I feel like it doesn't really get good until the end. And even that is a little bit of a stretch. So you staring at Tochika, man, just go get her. Ugh, get away from me, you're smelling like a block of cheddar. Look, there's a dog, how about you go pet her? Maybe roll around with her, it'll make you smell better. So I alluded to Ozone being into Tochika. Let's see what he had to say about that. I'm not into Tochika, uh, I'm into Circus Baby. Oh. You do know Elizabeth is like five, right? And you're 20? Kinda sus. Anyway, back on track. Ozone mentioned in his reaction to Ozone Mist that he feels like some of the rhymes were forced. And while some of them don't flow as well as I thought they would, they weren't really forced. One of the rhymes that I think people would assume was just filler is this one here. I'm so done with just giving you highs. I'm so done with giving everyone hellos and goodbyes. This one does really seem like it would be filler, but this one is just another case of me teasing my hotshot storyline. But I do admit, it feels really out of place here. You took a risk, made a diss, took a swing and you missed. You get the gist, cause this diss wouldn't exist if you didn't have to be such an asshole. Some yellow in your pants, did you take a piss? Did you find Toy Chica, she reject your kiss? Would you disappear off to, fall into a bit? Or is that you over there? I see something amiss, that's what you call a diss? Literally what is this? Need I remind you regarding my fist? Now leave me in peace to read Gumdrop Angel. When you heard this diss, it must have been painful. I don't even, what, what exactly, what, what, I don't, what exactly was going through my head when I wrote this? But, at the end of Ozone Miss, I took the same image that Ozone had at the end of his video and put it at the end of mine. At least you're better than Psychic, lol. And what happened next? Well, Psychic made a diss track on me. I like how the beginning is just like you trying to figure out what position to sit or stand in. There once was a miner who made a hasty joke, and that made me mad. And the disses awoke, never lived to hear how everybody spoke. The death of him mysterious dropped in a shady cloak. The death of me? I seem to be alive, but I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Evan, you thought you could take the crown, but every king falls and has to take a bow. You thought you could lock me out the gate. Well, soon enough you'll learn and you'll hear checkmate. I'd just like to know, in what world was I ever a king? I mean, Hotshot tries to be one, but like, is that working out so well for him? The red text on the screen saying that I'm worthless didn't hurt my feelings. No one called you worthless, psychic buddy. Evan was a friend, give credit to a lot. He helped me grow my channel from a sticky spot. His videos on the realm boosted the subs I got. But now I feel betrayed and it's time to take a shot. Cool, but no one watches my Minecraft videos, so did my videos on Minecraft actually help you? I mean, I hope they did, but I'm not quite sure if enough people watch them that they could. You wanna verse an ozone and myself? How about that kid who 
will call someone an elf Is that the best you got? I tried to boost your ego by telling you it's good When really you need to let go of all the attempts at trying to be cool <laughs> Bruh, I am not cool, and there is nothing that could change that. I hope the joke was worth this diss. It was, but those were all the diss tracks in the FNAF diss track war. Or at least, up until now. That's right, I have made one final diss track on Ozone. And this one is going to be a parody-ish of St. Maxwell's Afton Family Remix. I got the song done not too long ago, but I've been waiting for this video to be out to release it. This will be the final diss track, even if Ozone decides to make one more on me. It's obviously again for fun, and I just want to see if this diss track is more enjoyed by Ozone than the last one. I'm interested. I'm pretty proud of how, to, how it turned out, but if you want to listen to my final diss track on Ozone, tune in for tomorrow's video, and we'll see how all of you like it. Until then, bye guys!